Hey there, all my brownies. Time for brownie blog number 12 right here. 12. We already did 11. And um, I'm going to be uh, saying what I thought about the movie The Lone Survivor, which it was awesome. Now, before I start doing that, um, you may notice that I got my hair cut. Now, it took me absolutely forever to find somewhere that was open and wasn't completely booked to get my hair cut. My dad and I spent like an hour and a half going through the city looking for barber shops and hair salons and all those places that would a that were actually open. I guess we kind of started our search late, but um, they were all either closed or booked for the night, and it, it was crazy. And then today, my mom and I w had to go to like two, three other places before we finally decided to go to uh, Tommy Guns down down on the east side of our city. And so anyways, it took absolutely forever, absolutely forever to find a place to get my hair cut, which was rather frustrating because my hair was long and I didn't like it and it was just, ugh. But anyways, I've got it cut now. And so, um, I loved that movie. Absolutely loved it. It was an awesome movie. And if you love action movies and, like, intense, intense movies, this is the movie to see, like, it, the from... From the moment the first bullet flies, it's non-stop action. I mean, it's um a story about like four um guys, four soldiers, marines who are um in a unit together and they're trying to track down um some Taliban dude and anyways, he's he's killed a lot of marines and so they're trying to get rid of him because he's a huge threat. So anyways, their mission gets compromised and by some goat herders, and they decide to do the right thing, and, uh, not, not kill them, because they're not actually Taliban, they're not bad people, and so they let them go, but it eventually compromises their mission because of it, and so anyways, the Taliban then attack them, and so it's really intense, and the fact that, like, the sacrifice those soldiers make for each other, it's completely intense, and the reason it's called Lone Survivors because out of the four of them, only one of them makes it. Not going to say who, because I actually don't remember his name. But anyways, um, it's an intense movie. It's really awesome. If you're if you're worried about language, um, the F-bomb is pretty much in their daily vocabulary, so if you're offended by language, don't be super surprised when it happens. And it's really, really intense, and it's, it can be very, very violent at times. So, but it's not really a, it's not a scary movie at all. It, it it's intense and action packed, but it's not scary. But it's an awesome movie. I would really suggest seeing it. Out of five stars, I would give it four and a half. It was an awesome, awesome movie, and it's actually based on a true story, which is why when when everyone was leaving the movie theater, it was so quiet because everyone was like, "Wow, that actually happened," and that was like that was real. And it happened a couple of years ago, and it, it was crazy. And uh, it's an awesome movie, really intense, especially if you like action movies, you have to go see it. And if you don't like action movies, you should still go see it, because it's a super awesome movie. I would really suggest going and seeing it. So that's The Lone Survivor. I give it four and a half stars. So go check it out. And, uh, I don't know, take some brownies to the movie too, but don't get caught with them, because they might not let you take them. So see you guys later.